I just recently switched my account back to a margin account from a cash account on Robinhood. In this video, not only am I going to explain why I did that and what the thought process was behind it, but this is also a frequent question I find myself receiving. So I am also going to go over what is the difference between a cash and a margin account. But real quick, before we get into content, let it be known. I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is simply just me sharing my journey and everything that I learned along the way with you. And now without further ado, let's get in and talk about the differences. So just a couple of days ago, I switched my account from a cash account to a margin account. And we're going to go over why I did that in a little bit. I, I want to quickly show you the process for doing that. Should you want to do it or maybe do it the other way around? I think I have a like a quick little short on my channel on how to do it the other way around. But yeah, if you want to switch back, fun fact, it's pretty much instant as opposed to when you switch to a cash account, the funds need to settle. So when you make the switch, this is one great thing about Robinhood, especially for beginners. They try to educate you through every step of the way. So it says, what's different about margin accounts? You can trade with unsettled funds from stock and option sales, so you don't have to wait for funds to settle next day. For instance, if you have $500 you're trading with, you make a trade for 250 and another trade for 250. You're done trading in that account for the day in a cash account, but you can do it again the next day. Whereas in a margin account, you can do this up to three times in a single day, but you can only make a day trade three times within a five day rolling period. So if you make three trades on Monday, you can't make any until the next Monday. So that is a huge reason why I was on a cash account and to be on a cash account if you're planning on making day trades every day. All right, next up is you have access to margin investing, which allows you to borrow money like up to the amount of your account. So if you have $2,000 in an account, you can borrow an additional $2,000 essentially giving you $4,000 of buying power. And once again, not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, but run for the hills when it comes to borrowing margin. I believe the first year that I traded, this was a long time ago before, probably two or three stock splits ago on Tesla. And I had calls on Tesla. I bought in with margin and it pretty much ripped all my money away. So don't trade margin. I learned very quick. Margin is not your friend. Next thing is, you get access to level three options trading. This is a plus for me. So this means you can trade different spreads, different strategies and whatnot. That's a big plus for me. And this right here is probably the worst part of a margin account, pattern day trading regulations. If you make four or more day trades within five trading days, you may be permanently flagged as a pattern day trader. And when this happens, you cannot make any day trades for a solid three months. It's happened to me before, it's nasty, especially if you don't understand technical analysis, market structure, and all that stuff is not your friend. But I feel things are different now, and I feel that I can use this to my advantage. Going on after this page, I click switch to margin accounts, and it was as simple as that. It said, you're now trading a margin account. I don't have to wait for funds to settle when I sell stocks or options. I can also enable margin investing, which I will not be doing. All right. And then after that, I swiped over to my account. You can see down at the bottom, margin investing is disabled. It's going to stay disabled, but it had me at level two option, but I wanted to be able to do more. So I click on the option settings and I wanted to change that to level three. So right here, after I clicked on option settings, I clicked on upgrade. Then it says upgrade to level three. And then it goes to tell you what all you can do with that. So through upgrading to level three, you can trade vertical spreads, calendar spreads, iron condors, and more. You can limit your exposure. This right here is a huge part of what I'm trying to do. I want to implement this in the challenge. I want to trade contracts that I think are higher quality while limiting my exposure to really get myself in there and not worry as much about data. Next, many options investors use spreads because they offer a double hedge, which means that both potential profit and loss are limited. And at this point in the challenge, I am okay with potential profit being limited if it's also going to limit my loss. Because right now, where my account is, is not looking pretty. If you haven't, if, if you don't know what I'm talking about with the challenge, hey, be sure to click on this link right here and check that challenge out. Next benefit, reduce your net costs. Offset some of the upfront costs by buying and selling contracts in tandem. This is something I used to do all the time. And, and fun fact, before Robinhood had options accounts, I used this to cheat in almost 
uh, create my own form of day trades with margin accounts. So if a stock moves enough, I can essentially get either a free trade or free day trade using spreads. All right, going on, it says trade with flexibility, take on more nuanced view of the market with multi-directional strategies. And that is exactly what I was looking to do. This is what I love about Robinhood. Robinhood is not the best when it comes to order fills and all of that. But when it comes to education and really simplifying things, they do amazingly. So what are spreads? Spreads involve buying and selling options of the same class in underlying stock. Maybe in the coming weeks, I'll make some new content on my, on my channel as I get back into doing this. And going on, you got horizontal spreads. Feel more than welcome to pause and read this, but yeah, Robinhood is great when it comes to education. And there you have it. I, I switched to a margin account because first off, I want to slow my trades down. I intend to slow my trades down. I shouldn't be making a bunch of day trades. And one thing I've noticed about the market currently, it seems that all my trades that have been going well, they've been swing trades and not day trades. So just for the way I see things setting up and the way I trade, it's looking like it's not the smartest to swing just because of all the risk and the size of my account. But the biggest moves have been happening after hours and they've been swings. So I switched to a margin to be able to limit my potential downside, but also capture more of the upside. If you made it this far in the video, you are a real one. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, be sure to smash the like button. It really helps to support the channel. If for some reason you're new here and haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any future content. And last but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off, and I want to change your life.